Hi, this is Tom. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show some images that I did for the daily theme um, of, um, uh, it's called Lapis Lazuli, which is referencing um, a, a mineral that's a blue mineral. And uh, this was my favorite image of the batch that I did. I think it's just beautiful. So um, I'll just I'll show the images that I did, <clears throat> and then uh, discuss how they were done. So these are some light picture images, pictures of animals to start off with. And here we have some uh, double exposure images. And this is the one I started off with. And then here are uh, two images that I did, one with just prompt of a previous image that I had done. And then this is with the original image as um, as the style reference code for the new one. So this is just the prompt adjusted for the daily theme. And then this is the prompt adjusted to the daily theme with the original image as a style reference code. And this is similar. It's, a, it's got the original image with a style reference code. Here's another double exposure image, one of my favorite effects. And these are different styles that we just adjusted for the daily theme. And like some of these adjustments are pretty uh, subtle, like here is just adjusting the best a bit. Had a previous image that I liked as a basis for many of these for and here's another one. This is just the prompt that doesn't have the uh, image with it, but this is very similar to the prompt that this was, uh, the image from the prompt this was taken from. The difference was the original one was more black and white, monochromatic, and this one has the blue tint to it. I think these are, these are beautiful. Here I'm using the original as um, both the image and the style reference. And this made it very close to the original. Was I tried just with the adjusted prompt and didn't like the picture as well. So these are some combinations that you can do. You can like adjust the prompt. I use ChatGPT to adjust the prompts. And then I sometimes um, adjust the prompt as text and sometimes with the style reference code those were the two most common things I did and occasionally I would have it with uh, prompt and style reference and image okay that was let me go this direction so this was another one I did I really liked the original so I included the image as both the style reference code and the image and here we see is only the prompt. That's text. And similarly, just the prompt is text worked here and also here. And I guess I can add that I included the dash dash P um, parameter for the personalization. Okay, so where did I get the images from that I base these on? So I got them from images that I had created previously. So I created a folder called Catalog 1. And to create Catalog 1, I just went through images that I've done the last few months and picked out the ones that I like and moved them into this catalog. And then use this catalog as the basis for the daily theme. And use ChatGPT to adjust the 
prompts according to the daily theme. So I just give it the original one and then it tweaks it for the daily theme. And that's how I created uh, these images for the daily theme. And I was really happy with the results because I've been, uh, there's, there, I guess there's two things that I work on a lot. One is how to maintain a consistent um, look and feel once you have ideas in mind that you want to replicate. And then the other is, well, how do you get the ideas in the first place? And so uh, I've, I talk about both of these things. I use uh, a prompt. There's one prompt that I've been using, um, which I've done videos on. It's this prompt here. And uh, this ChatGPT prompt for Midjourney Prompt Builder. So this prompt I use to develop most of the prompts and images that I'm using here. And then I've been using this uh, technique that I just showed you as a means that once I have uh, a collection of images and prompts that I like that I can reuse in different contexts. Well, I hope you found this interesting and thanks for watching.